these next two are gonna be painful. Candyman Farewell to the Flesh was released in 1995, directed by Bill Condon, starring Kelly Rowan and Tony Todd. And yeah, for a follow up to one of the greatest horror movies of all time, in my opinion, this really should not have been this terrible. I'm just going to go ahead and get this one over with, starting off with the good, and there's very few things. First of all, Tony Todd obviously is great as the Candyman in this movie. I really love him as this character, like I have sung his praises a lot in the review for the first movie. He's still great in this movie, and he still gives a really good performance. And then you have Kelly Rowan in this movie as the new main girl of the film, Annie, and she does a really good job as well. Um, she's not as good as Helen, in my opinion, but she's still a really good uh, character, and I think that Kelly Rowan plays her really well. And you have a few really good kills in this movie. They're nowhere near as memorable as the kills in the first one, mind you. And then the score is pretty solid as well. With the Candyman franchise, the score is usually always pretty solid. That's all for the good. Now onto the bad. I just did not care about everything else in this movie. First of all, I don't care for the story whatsoever. Um, I just don't with the... I like the Louisiana setting. I think it's a good setting. I just feel like the story does a little too much. They go a little too ambitious with it. Um, Annie is apparently... Uh, the Candyman's great-granddaughter or something like that and they went a little too ambitious with that whole thing and in my review for the first movie I highly praised the scene where they describe what happened to the Candyman and how he was killed before he became the Candyman and I praised that scene and the lack of visuals for how they described it and just the way they told the story with the sound mixing and the sound design was absolutely masterful. In this movie they completely throw that out and they just show it to you and I just felt like that was a slap in the face to the scene from the original where they just describe it and it was way more effective in the first movie. In this movie, they just show it to you and all imagination is gone from the scene because you see it happen. Sometimes you just want to leave some stuff to the imagination. What happened to Daniel Robitaille before he became the Candyman is one of those things. And then I really did not care for the third act of this movie and how the Candyman was defeated. Did not care for it at all. But I'm not going to bitch about this movie for too long. Uh, so I'm just going to go on to the final thoughts. I did not like this movie. It's still better than the third one, which is a very low bar, mind you. But Candyman Farewell to the Flesh is a bad movie through and through, in my opinion. It's got a couple solid performances and some pretty cool kills, but I can only give it a 3 out of 10. So that was my thoughts on Candyman, Farewell to the Flesh. Have you seen this movie? What did you think about it? Let me know down in the comments. As always, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.